Okay, today we're going to take a look at how to set up email access in our Windows 11 so that we don't need to jump onto a web browser to access our email. It is directly integrated into Windows and we can access it from the mail application built in. So the setup here in Windows 11 will be very similar to the setup you would use in Windows 10. We can go to our start menu and select mail. And you can see here there are no accounts currently set up. We can go to the settings icon at the bottom, manage accounts, or we can select the accounts pane on the left and select add account. So we'll do that. Here we get an option. If you're using one of these email services, the setup should be fairly straightforward. You select the one and you put in your credentials and the setup will move forward. However, if you're not using one of these solutions, you may need to select other account or advanced setup depending on the mail provider such as for me I'm using my own domains so I've registered a web domain that provides email service so I'm going to select other account pop or IMAP here you can use the add account and it will select a default set of options so when you select this, it's very simple. If your domain provider is set up in such a way that you can access your email account using your email address, your password, and you can set your name up here to have the name that you want to send email from. So let's try this. It will be info at info at mytechworks.online. The name I'll use when I send an email and then we'll enter the password. Okay so these are the three things that we need to set this up. This can be anything as long as when you send an email that is the name that you want people to see on your email. So I'll select sign in and we're all done. My domain provider provides this information to be able to sign in and automate the setup with Windows Mail. However, the settings that they use may not be what I would like to have, such as POP or IMAP. So for me personally, I like to use IMAP because I know IMAP will sync the state of a message between the domain server where the email is actually held and my computer. So if I read an email here and I go to my laptop, that email will also appear as red when it syncs with the email server. Whereas with POP3, the emails are downloaded to the machine and their state is not synced with the email server. So if you read an email on this machine here and you go to your laptop, that laptop or that other machine will not have synced whether the email has been read or not. It'll just be unread. And same thing with a lot of other functionality, such as whether you replied to an email, a specific email, whether it was deleted, so on and so forth. So I like to use IMAP. So we can see here, we have set this up. It was fairly quick and easy. And this is mainly due to my domain provider providing this easy setup. Now, if your domain provider or your email service provider doesn't have a simple setup like that, we can add an account under advanced setup and we will select internet mail, pop or IMAP and we can select that. And this will ask for more details regarding your outgoing SMTP server, your incoming mail server and information like this. And you will need to get this from your domain provider. Typically, this will be in your cPanel. If your provider has a cPanel, they will provide this somewhere in the online section for your emails. So here's just a quick overlay of my provider. This is the information that they provide to set this up. So we can see here the username is simply just the email, which is fairly typical. Okay, so this information really isn't giving away anything that would, would not be accessible publicly anyhow. If you look up this email address, you would get a response of where that 
email server is. And this is all information that is readily and freely available to the public. And we can see that. Let's enter our name and we can see our incoming email server and our outgoing SMTP server. We can find that out from our cPanel or we can sometimes find it out from just using a command prompt. If we want to know the mail server for my tech works online, it isn't a secret. It is publicly available. We can do NS lookup. We can set the type to MX for our mail servers. And we just enter mytechworks.online. And we can see here we get mail.mytechworks.online. So this is going to be our mail server. We can actually just copy that paste that. The account type, as I explained a little bit earlier, between POP3 and IMAP4. I like to go with IMAP, outgoing server, and we're going to leave all of these selected for my particular setup. Like I said, you can go to your mail provider and see which kind of setup if they require SSL and SSL for incoming or SSL for outgoing mail. I would suggest strongly that you use this. Otherwise, your mail is being sent as plain text. And anyone that captures that data in between you and your mail server can plain text read your emails unless they're encrypted within the email itself, which isn't very typical to do. So let's enter our information. So we have our email address, the username. I'll enter the password, the account name, which is typically going to be the same as the username. What I want to send it out, the incoming and outgoing mail servers and the account type. Select sign in. And we have our TechWorks email. Now, instead of opening a web browser and logging into your email address by going to a website, you can access your email directly from your Windows machine simply by going to the mail icon and the advantage to this also is you'll, you can enable notifications in your system tray. So when you get an email, it will appear on the side here. It will pop up in the corner, letting you know that you have an email. You can also disable that and manage it through the settings here of what emails you do and don't want to see. Now, if you have multiple accounts, to add a secondary account is pretty easy. You select the gear icon at the bottom of the mail application, manage accounts, and you just go through the process of adding an account here at the bottom once again. You can also go to your control panel, go to accounts, and select email and accounts here. And you can manage your accounts from here without actually opening the mail application which isn't really that big of a deal. It probably is easier to go through the mail application than go through here. So we can add an account here and it just brings up the same prompt as if you were in the mail application anyhow. You can also manage the accounts that are currently set up on the machine and go through either deleting or removing or changing the options within the separate accounts, they'll appear in a list here. So I hope this has helped you out and getting your emails to your new Windows 11 or your Windows 10 if that's what you're currently on. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.